Yeah, really the main thing in the picture there, if you could still throw it up behind me uh, without uh, covering me up, I'll show you. There's a rain shaft right there in the middle. Yeah, you see it right there. Rain shaft. So you're just seeing a downpour right there. We saw a bunch of these yesterday during the morning and the afternoon hours. That's just your typical uh, overcast skies right there. But uh, yeah, you got a rain shaft right there. These were kind of uh, moving from south to north. Even looks like the edge of another little downpour uh, over there on the edge of the screen. Uh, but um, yeah, we had these isolated showers. That's what we were talking about yesterday. We would see more isolated activity during the morning and the afternoon, and they were just streaming from south to north. Some of you got a couple of these to move through your area. That's what we were saying. Uh, some of you're going to have to contend with a few isolated showers and some of you maybe you got one maybe you didn't get any until we got the widespread rain coming in as we had that frontal boundary start to move in as we went late afternoon through the evening through the overnight we can go back to radar here thanks guys and uh, uh, that's pushed off towards the east uh, live look downtown temple how about that instead of the radar we'll get to that in a second uh, standard insurance agency tower cam well, yeah we've got patchy fog the widespread heavier rain has moved off towards the east but we've got some patchy fog and even some some drizzle. We've got some drizzle that's developed here in downtown Temple. A little bit of some mist, some finer precipitation. Not going to get picked up well on radar. It's going to keep things damp. I do think clouds are going to decrease as we go through the morning. 67 degrees. It's a little bit of a muggy start. Again, we had the heavier rain move through. We're dealing with some drizzle, some mist, and uh, some patchy fog. Again, the finer precipitation doesn't show up well on radar. But yeah, there's some drizzle. There's some mist out there. A few lingering showers it looks like actually showing up around Navarro County. Uh, but the brunt of the activity has continued to decrease and weaken as it's moving east of Central Texas. What does it look like? Rainfall totals last 24 hours. Yeah, we're talking about a big soaker across Central Texas. Most of the area one to three plus inches, especially across our western zones. You're going from the greens to the blues to the purples. We're going from about a half inch to about an inch to two inches uh, to two and a half around uh, the western half of Central Texas. You look off towards the east. You got reds and oranges showing up. Yeah, we easily saw three to five inches in a big portion of our eastern areas east of I-35 all the way out towards I-45 with some locally higher amount six plus inches showing up in parts of the Brazos Valley. So we certainly need some time to dry out. I think we're going to get that today. Again, the atmosphere is very much overworked. We have a frontal boundary slow moving, pushing through our eastern zones. It's going to stall out somewhere near I-45 in the Brazos Valley. It'll actually lift north in the coming days days as a warm front and that'll help keep some rain chances around just an active pattern uh, with frontal boundaries hanging around the region. A big storm system uh, just to the southwest of the desert southwest. You think that's far away. How's that really affecting us? Well, it's uh, just to the east and northeast of it. We, ha we have the jet stream moving overhead and, and little ripples of lift and energy embedded in that going to be moving through and help keep rain chances around for the next few days. Overall, though, right now, again, there's some patchy drizzle and mist not being picked up on radar. A few isolated showers to the northeast around Mejia up towards Corsicana. Upper 60s to lower 70s for our eastern zones, mid to upper 60s for the rest of us. All right, clouds will decrease. The drizzle will decrease. The patchy fog as well. I think we're going to get sunshine to mix in. A little daytime heating that frontal boundary not too far away. You see a couple of those little green blips on there. Can't roll out a few stray showers as we go through the day. Rain chances stay very low. Uh, I'll go 10% through the day as a whole. Again, atmosphere overall is going to be in recovery mode. And then we'll look out towards the west this time tomorrow. We may see some showers trying to approach uh, from the overnight from West Texas moving towards Central Texas. All right, with the active pattern, as I mentioned, mentioned through the rest of the work week and the weekend, by Sunday 10 p.m., we could see an additional one to three inches for Central Texas with some locally higher amounts. Something just to keep in mind as again, some minor flooding when you get some of those downpours, low lying, poor drainage areas can't be rolled out if we get more of those downpours in the coming days. We'll see temperatures with the increasing sunshine getting into the lower 80s today. We'll drop back down into the lower to mid 60s going into Wednesday. And again, we'll take these rain chances one day at a time through the weekend.